Um, my last thing may take some time, but I think it's very important, and I wrote it out. Um, Joe Negron and the Everglades agricultural area was a tremendous part of the culture that got us all to where we are today. What Joe Negron did uh, with his career as president of the Senate to put his name and his everything on the line for that EAA reservoir. And um, I just want to make sure that uh, it stays front and center for all of us. And when you read uh, the comments from Governor DeSantis, his first lines almost always talk about um, making sure to expedite, expedite the EAA reservoir, Tamiami Trail, you know, and I just want to make sure that as these meetings go by and time goes by that we, uh, that the public especially um, kind of knows where we are. So um, I, I, I ask who the project manager was um, from Mr. Mitnick uh, for the EAA reservoir, and he gave me um, Leslie Waugh is her name and yet another one of these remarkable people behind the scenes. And I wanted to read this to you. It'll take about three minutes, I think. Recently, I spoke with EAA project manager Leslie Waugh, South Florida Water Management District. Ms. Waugh told me that she and her team, and she's, she made this up, I didn't, are working, for the e, working every day for the EAA, because I was worried. I'm like, are you guys doing anything? What's going on? She's like, yes, Ms. Thurlow, we're working every day for the EAA, because we don't hear that much sometimes. Uh, the work falls mostly into two categories, design work and planning work. As far as design work, a design contract, contract has been secured by the storm, for the stormwater treatment area with a contractor, Brown and Codwell. This is kind of like how things work if you've ever hired an architect to build your house. There's a lot of back and forth. And sometimes it can be contentious. My husband and I didn't move forward with our house. Um, but we will move forward with the EA Reservoir. As far as planning work, right now there is a lot of pre-construction engineering occurring. This includes a team of people their field work includes surveys and geotechnical site work to understand the site conditions. They ha for thousands of acres, the total site is about 17,000 acres. So they have to do all the geotechnical work to um, understand that those lands are quote unquote buildable. As this must be known before anything can be designed and built. Another part of the South Florida Water Management District's planning work includes a back and forth between the South Florida Water Management and the Army Corps of Engineers for the post authorization change report. This is one of those names that for the public it's hard to, un to keep that in your mind what that means. This is part of the of federal section 203 review that must be completed. You right, might remember that SEP in SEP, the A2, which is the piece of land that this is going to be built on, was going to be a flow equalization basin. The post authorization change report changed the flow equalization basin to a reservoir and added a stormwater treatment area. So now the South Florida Water Management District and the Army Corps of Engineers are figuring out all the details to adapt SEP to include the EAA reservoir. This process began in October 2018. It should be completed by April of 2020. Mind you, you know, these, all these acronyms are just enough to drive us all insane, but the, uh, the EIS and the NEPA are part of this 203 review. So for the public, just most of us are familiar with this, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has to be done. It's not like, I mean, think of on a local level trying to build your house. In the town of Souls Point, people were constantly complaining about how long it took to get their permits and to go through everything. We're talking about something on such a larger level. So um, there are federal and state things that have to be um, done. 
They are looking for things like cultural resources and impacts to endangered species. Those are things that the environmental community is, of course, excited about. We want those things protected, of course, and so it might take some time, which are coordinated and appropriate, and appropri I'm sorry, they are coordinated by the appropriate agencies and tribes. We are hoping the NEPA process is completed by early 2019. The South Florida Water Management District hopes to re receive their permit from the Army Corps of Engineers to start building the stormwater treatment intake canal by early next year, after the NEPA is complete. The rest of the STA is expected to start construction in January 2021. The Army Corps themselves, after going through all of their requirements with hopes to begin building the EAA reservoir, should start after three years of design. So that would mean starting construction in 2023 and finishing around 2028. The good thing is the STA can function independently of the reservoir, so that can start working right away. Remember, on an even larger scale, that the EAA reservoir will work together with other components of all of SERP. Nothing functions alone, just like in nature. SEP, North, and the southern features, like opening almost all of the entire Tamiami Trail, completing COP, which is the bottom of the system, and all of the C-111 details, for people who are from where I'm from, the C-111 is all the stuff in the south off to the east, uh, kind of by Homestead, as well as finishing the S-333, which is a giant structure uh, that because the poor little birds are making it so we can't dump into, not dump, that's the wrong word, can't uh, allow water into the Everglades, uh, they're, they're working that 333 structure. All of these improvements will be part of a key of sending more clean water to Everglades National Park and Florida Bay and reducing the discharges to the northern estuaries. In the end, in years to come, the reservoirs C-43, C-44, C-23, and C-24, and the EAA will complement each other and the system. system. This process is long. It is easy to be impatient. But the goal is to do the right thing the first time so it doesn't end up like 10 Mile Creek. These are exciting times and your advocacy is needed to keep the wheels turning. Thank you for letting me take so much time. Those dates will be something that the general public, if they're concerned, they can go back to this meeting and, and check, you know, find those dates and I will continue to sorry, excuse me, to, to make reports on the Everglades agricultural area. Um, and thank you, Joe Negron and uh, everybody else for getting that to start changing the culture of the South Florida Water Management District.